Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is starring in one of the most talked about miniseries of the year, The Bobby Brown Story. Parts one and two just premiered on BET, so let's take a look. Keep talking. You can sing, dance, <laughs> and you got jokes. And you can sell pot on my permission. But I guess you can do that because you're special, right? I thought you missed Bobby Brown. Look, how about we take this up? <laughs> Please welcome the very handsome Mike Merrill. Yes! <laughs> Hi, Mike! Oh, 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 oh. That's how you gonna come out? That's how you feel? <laughs> Hello, humble hustler. Hello, hey, handsome. How you, how you doing? Thank doing you so much good. for being here. Yeah. Come on, this purple pillow is yours. How right. are you, sir? I'm doing great. Yeah, how about we are doing fabulously well, and so are you. I mean, yes. the buzz is on about the Bobby Brown story. Yeah, it is. Yes, yes. So tell us how you landed this role and tell us a little bit about your role. So what's funny is I originally had got a call back for Steven Seeley. Mm -hmm. And when I went to the call back for Steven Seeley, I had got a, co a code read mm -hmm. for Manny and I had to do code, a code Ooh, read for Manny yeah, on yeah. spot. And the next two months, I had got the call that yeah. I booked Manny. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that smile. He's smiling. That's the kid right there. Yeah, because right. I worked hard for it, man. Yeah, so I'm just happy. Right. Yeah. You know? Like, look at this. Oh, no. I love it. I love it. Yeah, okay, and, sorry. And you grew up in Detroit. Yes. yes. So are there any parallels in how and where you grew up in this movie? Mm. Yes, actually. So uh, growing up in Detroit, I um, previewed a lot of violence. Mm. And. It was kind of, I don't like to say it, but it, it was kind of easy to channel this role, yeah. but it was hard to stay in it. Mm -hmm. So I like to stay away from that side as much as possible. Absolutely. So when I was playing this role, I had to instantly like go and do something, you know, I yeah, just yeah. had to go and do something just to, to snap out of the role. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, everyone's been talking about Jeffrey uh, Owens from The Cosby Show mm -hmm. um, this week, uh, you know, him working at Trader Joe's, but all of us have had those in between Which jobs, or I don't even want to say in between jobs, have had those jobs while we're waiting on our next. Uh -huh. Is that part of your story as well? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes, yes. It was at a point where I couldn't even find a job, y'all. Oh, yeah. When I say oh, I just tried my best not to go back to Detroit because I knew Atlanta's where I was supposed to be. Yeah. This is my second source of income, and I moved here to start my career in TV and film. Yeah. So um, I ended up registering for a Lyft and Uber. Nice. Okay. And it was kind of hard a little bit because I was on a show called Last Squad Standing and uh -huh. some people had uh -huh. noticed me from that, right. but I got over it and yeah. I just kept doing Uber and Lyft and, you know, I was making money. Any of your passengers, did they, they, hey, what yeah. did, did it happen? Yeah. 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 Every, every time that happened, how, how did it make you feel? Did it motivate you more? Did it make you feel, how, how did it make you well, feel? Well, I had to humble myself. Yeah. Because, um... At first, I'm like, okay, I'm not doing Uber and Lyft in the, in the, in the morning or in the afternoon. Uh -huh. I'm do it at night. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so then I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I need to make this money because I'm not about to be getting put out. Right, yeah. that, right. You know, yes. and it got to a point where I was, you know, mm -hmm. living in my car and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But mm -hmm. I, I was not going back to Detroit. Right, but look at you now. Good for you, Sister Circle. Yeah. 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 Come on now, you're here. Come on now. <laughs> yes. Yes. So let me ask you a question about the movie. Now, has Bobby Brown or New Edition influenced you? And in, in what way did they? Were you so, fans? Were yes. You, were you fans I was always Miami? a fan of Bobby Brown. Yeah. So I knew about Bobby Brown more than New Edition. Okay. okay. And yeah. uh, I was always a fan of his music and his performance and stuff like that. But one thing that I did not pay attention to is what he actually say in the song My Prerogative. Mm -hmm. So after talking about Bobby and having a conversation with him face to face, you know, I, and I was kind of nervous too. Yeah, yeah. Just sitting there, I'm like, I'm sitting next to Bobby, Bobby Brown. Brown. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I can't believe it. We right. having drinks and you know just talking, yes. and he was just telling me about this powerful, his powerful story and. With me being a part of the Bobby Brown mm -hmm. story, it just like kind of it grew on me, and he grew on me. Yeah. So it was like I have ultimate respect for him. Yeah, yeah. He, because he was on the set every day. Yeah, right? yeah almost every day. And, right. in, and in talking Even to him right. every day. So what did you learn about him that you never knew as a fan, or yeah, even yeah. as a person talking to him for the first time every day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that was the thing. I, like, I didn't know. I didn't notice how much he went through. Oh yeah. You know, I just saw the the the, the limelight mm -hmm. of Bobby Brown. You know, I didn't know that he went through all of this yes. stuff. You know, and I just I heard about Whitney dying and stuff like that, but I didn't know like he was going through all, all of that. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, as yeah. he was telling me, it was just such a powerful story. And yeah. 
kind of relate to me in a, in a way. Yeah, so. in what way? In what way? And, and we could talk about like how it relates yeah. to you. You talked about growing up in Detroit, Detroit but what was that yeah. aha moment for you that you said, hey, acting's my thing, I gotta make this transition. Let's talk about you in that same aspect and then parallel it to Bobby Brown, as you alluded to. So, I, um, I tried acting before and I got discouraged and I stopped, but I was invited to watch my mom in a stage play. Mm -hmm. and she was in her, her friend's stage play, Jay McClain's, and um, I was seeing her up in that stage and I was so proud of her, and I'm looking like, she delivering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's my mama, right? right, right. So I'm like, uh, if she got it, I gotta have it. Okay. So as soon as the play was over, I had asked her director, like, can you please consider me for your next stage play? Yeah, okay. And she did. Yeah. And nice. then that was with Carl Payne and yeah. Tasha Page Lockhart. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, I had um, started acting in stage, yeah. I mean, in theater, okay. and I never stopped from there. Wow. One of my I favorite love, things to do. One of my favorite things to do. Yeah. Huh? And acting is one of my favorite things to do oh, as well. Yeah. I've done plenty of stage plays. Yeah. But what are some of your upcoming projects you have working on? So, for right now, I do have a stage play that I'm in that's in Dallas, December 8th. It's called Why Women Trip with Tori Lee. Okay. And I'm co starring with Miguel Nunez okay. and Mama D. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's gonna be that's fun. That's gonna be fun. fun. Yeah, that's gonna, gonna be fun. fun. Yeah. She's a stage actor. Yes, she yeah. is. Definitely. Well, we're looking forward to continued success for you, Definitely. Mike. Definitely. I appreciate and thank it. you. Keep that smile. Yes. <laughs> thank and stay you. humble, okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm always gonna stay humble. Right, I'm a humble that. hustler. So, look, right, let me tell y'all about this real quick. We gotta go, but quick. So, Okay, so I'm a face of Humble Hustle. You see it's missing the yes, E. Yes. So it stands for effort, uh -huh. and that's what most people don't get to see in the Humble Hustle. Absolutely. He is yes. the Humble yes. Hustler. Make sure you check your local listings for the Bobby Brown story on BET. Up next, we'll hear what you have to say and what the people say. Give it up for Mike Merrill.